Hello, I am Ines from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create some fire in Adobe After Effects with, called, uh, with the plugin called Particular. Um, so that's from Trapcode. Uh, if you don't have it, you'll need to buy it. Uh, it's not for free. But um, if you have it, we can get started on this tutorial. So um, I'm going to show you how to create a fire that's looking pretty much like this over here. So let's have a look. So um, this is my fire over here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, create a new composition. And well, before we start, I will also show you how it's looking at uh, without um, some real footage. So on a black background, this is how it looks like. Um, I'm gonna get it to full resolution. I'm gonna delete these. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so this is the fire, how it looks like. Uh, it's pretty realistic uh, without real footage. Um, but if you put it on real footage, uh, of course, people are going to know that it's not real fire. So um, maybe try to use it in introductions, um, some motion graphics. And you might use it in real life uh, footage, but um, as something else, so like like a special power that you have. Um, it doesn't have to be fire fire. It can be a special, f uh, special power fire. So um, let's get started. Create a new composition. And I'm going for the 720p and the uh, 24 frame rate. And let's make it 10 seconds long because it doesn't, it doesn't need to get longer. Fire base. I'm gonna call it like that and hit OK. And then I'm going to create a new layer, a new solid, I'm sorry. And call it background. Choose a black background and hit OK. And then again, new layer, solid. Sorry. <laughs> Did again. And I'm going to pick a nice orange red color so um we get uh, to see it in our layers uh, right over here that it's uh, going to be the fire and I'm going to rename it to fire particular okay and now uh, now I'm going to add a particular so I'm going to affect trap code particular okay once you've done that open up the emitters box change it to box and well the rest is um, pretty pretty good we're gonna change the particles per second later on because else it's uh, gonna be really really slow um, in the rendering so um, we're gonna drag this um, timeline to the left so it's already um, been born and then we're gonna make it longer to the comp size and then again go to the particle uh, particles over here um, I'm going to take life of 1.5 and life random 25 Sphere uh, feather um, 75 and size I'm going to set it to 2 but uh, you can keep it at, at 5 um, but the smaller you go the more particles you will need and the longer it will take to render out so um, it's all up to you size over life and uh, opacity over life both a ramp like this and then we're going to close the particles tab open up the physics and over here we're going to get um, the gravity to minus 1000 so it's going upwards just like this over here as you can see and then maybe you want to reposition it right over here so you can see it a little bit better and uh, maybe add a little bit more particles so you get a nice idea of what we're going to create um, but later on we'll, we'll move it um, we'll bump this up over here so uh, maybe a smaller amount of life so again to particles and maybe let's change it to um, 1.1 1 .1. just just I'm going to take one it's pretty cool uh, pretty cool okay so um, then I'm going to up the render and uh, open up the rendering and the depth of field um, I'm sorry motion uh, motion blur yeah okay I'm a little bit confused I'm sorry <laughs> okay so then open up um, the uh, options for motion blur and check this on instead of comp settings else it's all uh, only going to change it uh, if you select if you click on this one and this one um, which we want we want only the particles over here to be motion blurred and not the rest of our comp so um, this will do fine and maybe change the shutter angle to 500 okay so once you've done that close this we don't need this anymore and we're going to open up the physics air and tur um, turbulence field I guess yes that's what I'm looking for I'm going to open that and then the effect position uh, affected like 250 something like that and well we might need some more live again so 1.3 will do good okay um then what we want to do now is uh add a nice blur so go to effects and blurs 
blurs and sharpen and add a false blur change it to five blurriness and then we're going to add some um, color correction colorama and we're gonna do this later on check this off for the moment uh, I forgot one thing over here um, the offset Y you wanna all click on the offset Y and enter time times minus 500 and what's that gonna do it's uh, going to animate um, the effect position so um, as we're gonna look right now for a preview I'm gonna pause this video and come back once it's uh, a nice preview okay so it's only one second long but um, we'll check what we have already so that's pretty cool and um, maybe you want to make um, add some more by lost uh, by, uh, velocity something like no 250 is way too much let's say 150 okay that's looking pretty cool and now we want to add a colorama so um, check this effect back on and the input phrase will be alpha and then we're going to close this input phase and go into the output cycle and then we're going to change it to a preset fire and now what you want to do is um, just mess around with these colors a little bit until you get a real, uh, realistic look um, I'm going to keep this one for now and I'm going to bump up the particles per second for um, this preview so I'm going to take 50,000 the more particles you will get here the longer it will take to render out um, but um, the more particles you will have and the smaller your particles are the more realistic it's gonna look um, so yeah also the complexity over here um, maybe you wanna bump this up to 6 okay and then we're gonna uh, going back to effect stylize and add some glow over here so to get that realism 80% and 80% also at the threshold so something like this should be working fine okay so as you can see here you have your uh, we have our glow on the fire um, so that's basically on how to create this fire in part uh, in particular uh, what you can do now is uh, add an really uh, uh, real footage so something like something like I filmed before I also added some color correction uh, for the realism and also some flickering all that great stuff um, just change the blend mode to add or screen it's all up to you and just uh, make sure you have a dark scene that's been light uh, lit up um, and that you color correct offwards in After Effects so maybe add a thinned effect and stuff like that so I'm not going, going to make this tutorial too long because uh, it's only about how to create a fire maybe you want to add some uh, optical flares if you have optical flares and um, it's from videocopilot.net uh, if you don't it's all uh, you also have to pay for it so it's not for free um, let's add some optical flares so you can see what I'm talking about I'm going to delete this footage because um, yeah click on the optical flares slow uh, solids and go to effects video copilot and optical flares so optical flares Come on, it's going pretty slow because I'm also recording right now. Okay, optical flares. There we go. And I'm going to use a preset that I created myself and maybe make this streak a little bit smaller. Let's say scale 60. Okay. And change the color to something orange red ish. Yeah. <laughs> okay and then just reposition it into the fire um, how I tracked it on my hand is um well I did by hand really quick right now in the preview but um what you can do is um get the position of this and the position of um, the particles right over here so press U on the keyboard well create a new keyframe just so you can get it on the on the timeline as well and then just all click on the position of the uh, optical flare so I'll click over here and then just pick with uh, the, uh, the position of the particles and I did it wrong I have to click on a position not on the particles per second I'm sorry I'm a little bit distracted here okay so just pick with with the whoop right here onto the particles press you on the keyboard again oh my god okay do it one more time okay I'm sorry and now if you move around your particles the optical flare is also going to move with it so uh, I'm going to move it right over here it's going to move with it 
and it's really slow my computer okay so um maybe change the resolution to half um to get it and uh, workflow a little bit better so when you uh, you are creating it make sure you have it to quarter maybe even um so it's going to be really um, a lot faster but quality uh, won't be as good so once you want to see a preview just click on full and once you're working click on quarter um it saves me a lot of time quarter uh, also be sure to save it um on time because i had a crash last uh, last week on a big project and i didn't save a thing so it's also uh, all it's always handy to to save your work and yeah i'm a little bit tired so i'm really sorry about um me being confused um but um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials where i'm not confused and check out my website thoroughcinematics.com I also have my portfolio on there, so if you want to check out what I'm doing um, and from motion graphics and visual effects, you can check them on there. Also, if you then uh, if you have any questions, PM me or go to the forum of my website, and maybe the community can uh, can help you out. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and well, goodbye.